Hello everyone, this is my new party. Um, it's a little bit of a pool party, a little bit of guard break party, got a little bit of horror in there as well, got some nice burst with the Jester finale. So we're gonna see what we can't do here. Ooh, I did take off Holy, no, I kept on Holy Lance. And you know why we kept on Holy Lance? Because we don't like getting pooled. No sir, no sir, no sir. Um, but we're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep that vessel nice in the front though. Right in front. You're gonna only be able to use illumination. It's a heavy focus on the occultist though. A lunch, okay. So immediate desk door. I don't mind that. The flage is in the back now. Um it's not great going to desk door. But we um as long as we can set up some stuff here, and like I said, it's just illumination. It might even willingly move backwards. May not even illuminate if they did. They, I say it's gonna be on the jester, which I don't have a problem with. Now what I can do, got a couple of options here. I could holy lance forward, dirk stab. What do I want to do? Probably gonna. I did use Battle Ballad, right? Yeah, so I could start focusing. Doesn't really have an HP heal. Other than, okay, so I'll tell you what. Let's smash the Grave Robber and make sure she definitely has to fade to black. Yeah, smashing. As I say, let's get her really hurt. Because even if she fades to black, we could theoretically still use, um, she's on a hit right there again. Pierce, okay. So, force in the immediate death's door. The only thing that could hit two abilities that couldn't meet. As long as this isn't a zero, which is always. Okay, I say always possibility. We do have Sulphur Syringe on, so a 25 is actually not bonkers. I mean, it's still good. It was probably, what, a 19? But I just pretty much saved myself now. I mean, could lunge. It's gonna pan dark. It's gonna go for the stress attack. No problem. Did not shadow fade. Which is gonna cause a major problem because death's door. Um, cannot heal. And I do have a puncture available. I'll probably impale, to be honest. He's probably going to shift forward real quick. So we're actually going to puncture, right? Yeah. So we're actually going to punk. No, we're going to impale. For a death door check. Okay. No problem. Uh, I can do an AoE heal, but what we are going to do is... Probably... I'm, I'm still going to grab with a har Because that way, yeah. So we're still going to pull forward. Dazzling light. Interesting, interesting. Let me think here. I could do double hit here or pull forward, allowing a full range of abilities. Yeah, we don't want, quite want to do that. And what I could do is do a harvest and really mutilate. But I think what we're going to do... I definitely want to get another death blow shot off on this person. Alright, there's another one. They might go cocky and think they can do it, because what I also want to do, go ahead and do is Dirk Stab. Actually, I want to see where this next Dazzling Light goes. I think it's going to be another Dazzling Light. I'm going to pull four. I'm going to Puncture next if it's not a Dazzling Light. But I think that's the play. I think you Puncture now. It's got to be Dazzling Light on the uh, Jester. There's no way. Oh, okay. So that's... That actually really opens up my options, to be honest. Because now... I could pierce Dirk Stab. Doesn't have a lot of resist. Actually, I tell you what, let's um let's get some heavy DOTs going here. Six, eight, six. Actually that's yeah, so yeah, I think that was the move actually. Half HP, yeah. As long as it doesn't oop. Who can hit the back row? Ooh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I might lose my cultist, but I'm going to trade out their only real good source of heals right here on the Vestal. Now he's going to get, oh, I guess technically two opportunities. Probably losing the occultist. Sadly, I couldn't get a de Are you that cocky? Do you got something to do more death blow? Okay, I guess he saw him to the future and he knows he's going to death blow, which, I mean, he could... This guy isn't the lowest level. Now, I'm in a weird spot where I could technically get super gutsy. Do another hit here. Knock them to death. What's the accuracy real quick? 90. I'm going to get minus 10. 100. Ugh. How much dodge? 20, 20, 20. I tell you what. Let me just see what the, they are real quick. 90. Nah. 
I think you knock them to death's door. And and you make them make some life decisions. I, I haven't taken a death blow chance yet. I'm going to bank on one, and here it comes. It's going to be a pierce onto the occultist, which already went. It's not the worst thing if they died. It's not the worst thing if they died. Did I want them to die? No, but here's what we can do. Boom! Aha! <laughs> right there. All right. Got a Dirk stab for this lady. Death, yeah, so fortunate on their end. However, I have a 40% chance of destroying this person. And they know it, so they're probably going to move back manually. No, just elimination. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is just... Actually, since they stayed there, I'm going to do a death blow chance onto the shield breaker. Yeah, I'm going to do a death blow chance onto the shield breaker. Now, that might get him low enough for a redeem. No, it's not quite. So I'm going to get Suffer. Okay, he's taking everything. That's fine. That's actually a lot of DOT. I know you're like, well, he gets to heal it all. There is a point in which you really don't want to take too much more. Now, you're in a weird spot where you go here because you have Redeem, but you Serpent Sway forward, moving her back. I can now Dirk Stab. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't... Ah, dang. All right, so he is going to get a heal off. Fortunate. But I will be able to knock to Death's door via Puncture next, and we'll be back where we started. Dazzling Light. Okay, so interesting. He's going to rely that he doesn't get Death Blowed by the Crusader, and he's going to get a Redeem off. It's possible. Um, yeah, so you're rolling the dice on that. I don't know what the statistical opportunity is. It's not great. He can now Redeem... Yeah, he now redeem, but he's taken on so much. Well, actually, I guess he doesn't have that much less. He has, like, what, 10 left? 10, but that still knocks you down to 8. And now you're at 50% healing, and I can rock you with a Dirk Stab. I still got a Finale, by the way, which is just going to destroy that Flag. So, really, it's down to the Shield Breaker, who's now afflicted. Yeah, so I, I kind of like this party. I don't, I mean, is it, like, the strongest party? No, nah, probably not. Um, I don't really make the strongest parties anymore. I don't know if I ever did, but certainly not doing it now. What I could do, actually, it's kind of weird, but I think I'm just going to move these two guys back, drop a hammer. He's not going to be able to heal enough HP. If he does another redeem, he could, but what I'll then do is stun, Dirk stab, and we're done. Okay, moves forward. So yeah, he just lost his flag, which is okay by me. And then the shield breaker will just be a matter of time before we just systematically... <laughs> 44, get the French door out of here. That's above your max HP. Holy crap. Yo, oh, and since that's a critical, you automatically come to position 2, which is just... That's a no-no zone. I mean, technically, he's gonna get like... Actually, what's your um stun resist? I don't know. No, if you're never gonna not be able to be stunned. Though I do have opportunities to miss, but aren't you getting a dodge? Yeah. So by the time you're stunned, go no, no, I'm never not going to lose now. I'll just... And I'll tell you why I'm doing that. I need this body to go away. <laughs> it's kind of cheesing. It's not cheesing, but... There you go, I'll never not miss now. And I'll also always stun. Uh, oh no, I guess it is plus 50%. Okay, now Serpent Sway. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Now, he's got one more Serpent Sway in him. I'm actually just going to skip my turn. Ah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I just don't want the Jester to be right there. Hoping they kind of do a move for me. Nah, alright. Whatever. Adder's Kiss. I don't know why he's spreading the damage around. I guess he figured he can't do much against that. But, like I said, I'm always going to be able to hit when he's... I'll have a good chance to perpetually stun lock. It's not guaranteed. Ow. Okay. Well. Right up the GG's. Here we come. Yep. Yep. Right him up. I got a certain sway left, but stun. So I'm going to get three opportunities. We just, oh, and now you're stuck in the front row. Which, uh, that does mean you can do Adder's Kiss till the end days. But, you know. I don't know if it's going to help you much. How many times have I hit this person already before? I don't know. We'll see. Probably a kill shot right here. Nope. Stun? Wow, I just can't get that dead. Yep. So this party's pretty cool. 
Um, I kind of like the the weirdness of the double pool. The occultist can pull out some nice HP heals. Um, Jester's always good for Nally. Kind of counter. The only bad thing about it is there's no bleed HP heal. So if I get a lot of bleed on me, it's pretty much over. Um, it is a it is a burnout comp. It does a surprising amount of damage. But yeah, so that's my little pool comp. It has its it definitely has its issues. Uh, I do think a little bit of direct damage isn't there. You kind of rely a little bit on the DOTs, a little bit of the piercing, um, the horrors and stuff like that. So it's not the like the fastest damage comp, but it, I think it will shock you. The only thing I'm kind of double thinking is um. If I want this on, or if I do just want to go with, like, maybe a, a, a Zealous. Just because it does a little stress, it can hurt two people. The Crusader's damage isn't bad, but um, Bulwark of Light might save me, but I'm not really interested in a slow burn. So I'll tell you what, I think Bulwark's not that good. 10 to 16, or you do double. I think that'll be useful for guards and stuff. And I tell you what, I do have this at plus 8 death blow, 15% HP, 5% protection. But I really do think he's my primary stunner. I, I, I do think I need to get just... I hate doing the same generic stuff, but there is a reason why it works. And as you just saw, if I had the other trinket on, they would never get out of stun. And then it does to go to 11 to 18. So, you know, you can still do a good chunk of damage. It's almost guaranteed criticals. It doesn't add accuracy, but that's what the Jester's there for. But... Because it's only 5% protection. Now, the 15% HP is what? 7 more HP. The Death Store gets them up to like 83. But it's not very good against Jesters or Bounty Hunters, which I don't know if people really use that much anymore. Still use Jesters, but I don't know about... Now, Rid of Execution, actually. I'll tell you what, actually. Rid of Execution. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I think I might actually keep on Rid of Execution and put on Zealous. 10% damage, 8 accuracy, 15% damage. Yeah, I'll tell you what. This is what I used to run. I think I'm going to keep that, because I used to do a Zealous Crusader, and people kind of pseudo-made fun of me for that, but I do think it has its place. And besides, it's 10% damage and 8 accuracy and 10% death blow, so I mean, it's going to pair well with Stunning Blow as well. Um, same with Holy Lance, obviously, which gets 11% crit modifier. I don't think it's that bad. Alright, thank you for watching. And this is my weird pool damage comp, and obviously we try to give some nice dodge here. 35. Um... I thought there was one other trinket that gave plus... Oh, people do the... Um, I do like the 15% damage, but there's no one else who blights. So you know what I could do? I could... Oh, is it on someone else right now? I could do the monkey's paw. People do like that. So it goes 10 to 18 from 8 to 15. I had this decent, but... If I'm going to be puncturing stuff, that's already a minus 50% damage. Yeah, I might as well do that. Get 50 dodge. Give myself that little more accuracy. Because that goes 132 without Battle Ballad then. That kind of removes the need for Battle Ballad. So does that. It puts me to 100 practically. Which is pretty good. So I could Harvest first turn theoretically. And this gives me 15 accuracy on that. Which is 105 on Abyssal, correct? Yes, 105. And this is 135, yeah. So actually, you know what? I don't need to Battle Ballad first turn. I mean, it's still a strong choice. But if I get to go... If I go second in some comps, it might be worth it if they don't get that um, dodge. So it's just some ideas I'm throwing out there.